As an MSP providing security, you give your customers the promise to proactively manage and protect their environment. In this video, we'll show you how you can prove that you are delivering on that promise to help build their trust in your services and provide hands-on justification for their IT spend. Asset Protect provides a long list of reporting possibilities. Here we have picked out reports that have proved to be most used by MSPs and most valuable for their customers. In the following demo, we will show you how an MSP can easily adjust Asset Protect reporting. After logging in to Asset Protect Web Console, you can find a long list of predefined report templates in the Reports section of the main menu. These templates are organized in several categories and can be used immediately to generate reports. For MSP users, we recommend creating a separate category for report templates they will use regularly. We'll name the category MSP Reports. After being created, the category is empty. Therefore, we duplicate the existing report templates that we find the most useful for us. Just click the gear icon, choose the option Duplicate, and change the category to MSP Reports. This way, we can duplicate all required report templates one by one. We can also modify the report templates anytime, if needed. For instance, in the template Top Computers with Detection Events in Last 7 Days, we would like to monitor a longer period, let's say one month. So, we adjust the name and description of the report template, and in the Filter section, we modify the relative time interval. If the MSPs want to generate reports with relevant data for a specific customer, and this is something they often require, it's necessary to set up filtering based on a static group. In our case, we select the group Colors from the list of static groups. One of the very useful features in Asset Protect reporting framework is the report scheduling. You can choose one or multiple report templates and set up automatic report generating and delivering to your customers via email. Following configuration is needed to generate the selected report monthly, every first Monday in the month at 6 a.m. In the delivery section, we choose the option Send email and type the recipient's email address. Optionally, you can customize the email message. In Print options, you can choose the output format and modify graphical attributes of the report output in a very detailed way. Generating reports is a server task. Therefore, all scheduled reports are present also in the Tasks section. Finally, here you can see an email message with the Asset Protect report attachment delivered to the MSP's customer. This particular report tells the administrator that Blue PC is the most problematic computer and requires attention as it encountered the most detections last month. For more details on the topic of reports in Asset Protect, visit our online help and knowledge base. 